What's up everybody, Rod J back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Tonight I'm taking a look at one from out of Austin, Texas. This is from Sellers Brewery. It is their Sellers Porter, which is a double coffee porter. Comes in at 7% ABV, 30 IBU. Roasted malt and chocolate flavors noted on the can. Here's a little bit of their story there. Brewed in Austin, as it says. Which does say this beautifully rich brew features dark caramel malt and a distinctively Belgian yeast. The result is a robust yet smooth chestnut color porter. Indulge in demure chocolate undertones from the infusion of organic cold press, Guatemalan and Mexican coffee from Austin's own Summer Moon Coffee Bar. And it has signed off by Christine Sellis. So it looks to be a collaboration. They do have a date on the bottom of the can as well. So let's go ahead and get this baby into a glass and see what it has to offer. And this is one that I did bring back from when I went to Dallas, Texas a few months ago. So looking forward to seeing what this one has to offer for sure. Picked it up out at uh, Total Wine. If you happen to see the Total Wine video, that was also done. And taking a look at the beer here, it came out with a pretty decent head on it. Came out about two fingered, right on the die almost. Uh, nice dark color on the beer for the porter. Get a light behind it. You're not really getting anything through it. So it's pretty much a very, very deep dark brown. You could almost say jet black on the color. The bubbles on the head itself, some good sizing in there, so it should maybe leave some lacing. And we're looking at the head being a nice tan or beige color head. Oh, the aroma has a nice kick from a little bit of a spice feel. You get the coffee grounds uh, in the notes there. Got a nice richness to it. Yeah, it smells very good. So looking forward to definitely tasting this one. Speaking of which, Thirty IBU, as I mentioned, you do get some bitterness in there. You do feel it hit the throat area, but it's more of that coffee type bitterness as well. Good feel of the coffee in the mouth. A good feel of the flavors taking place. A nice feel of the uh, roastiness of the beer with the malts. Get the rest of that into the glass. You get a nice popping of the flavor in the mouth opens up very nicely on the finish you have a nice duration of the flavor goes out in the back end pretty smooth so nothing really off there if you like the taste of coffee then this comes through very easily for you that roastiness and toastiness are both in play nicely in the mouth the cheeks are actually coming alive a little bit more with the flavor you can really feel it nicely in there now kind of like a pop and taking place Get you into that chewy type sensation a little bit there. And now I'm starting to feel even more of the uh, flavor around the mouth or so to speak. So really nice hit of the uh, coffee tones. A nice hit from the roasted malts. Brings pretty much everything you would kind of expect with this type of flavor. If you're a coffee fan, you would definitely, I think, enjoy this one. If you're a coffee and porter fan, I should say. Um, you'll definitely uh, have this in your wheelhouse and this one does hit well on it a little bit of a thinness there in the body But that's kind of expected for me with this type of beer But overall the flavor profile is definitely a nice one along those lines And I would definitely say to check this one out if you are a Coffee Porter fan and hopefully if drunken one if you see this Let me know if you've actually had this because this is in your neck of the woods down there but uh, check it out if you can. Solid beer, uh, nice feel to it. One that I give here a uh, 375 out of five and would definitely say uh, if you like coffee porter, give it a shot. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Look forward to catching up with you guys next time. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers. Oh, you didn't know? Your ass better come!